lady, it's cold outside. So we're going to heat things up a bit by mixing up some hot cocktails that might even thaw your frozen heart, Derek. Oh, you know me <laughs> so well. We'll see about that, though. Here to show us how we have Chef John Buchanan from Third Coast, along with sommelier David Cook, also from Third Coast. We're going to hear from David in just a moment. He's way over there on that side of our set. Uh, but first of all, Chef John, Third Coast is a very well-respected restaurant. And for folks who haven't stopped by yet, tell us a little bit about it. Well, we're a modern Houstonian restaurant. We like to reach out to Houston, uh, the diversity of the city and the diversity of the medical center. So we like to have flavors that represent, you know, our city, our cultures, and just us as Texans in general. And in addition to having delicious food, we're seeing some of the photos right now, it is an absolutely chic place. You guys are located in the medical center on the sixth floor, so people really have a great bird's eye view of all the goings on. Oh, yeah, it's a great location. I got to ask you about parking, though, because, you know, Medical Center can be a little crazy for parking, but you guys got it easy. We have it covered. We have probably 500 parking spaces. We're on the sixth floor of the John P. McGovern building, which is a parking garage. We have reserved parking for Third Coast, and it's validated when you come in, so there's no dealing with valets. It's just come in, park your car, go to the sixth floor, and... And then people can run inside and try some of and this you're delicious in and you food. can have one of these. Now, that is a giant piece of meat. <laughs> Everybody's walking by going, what is that? So, Chef John, what is it? <laughs> well, this is something that we started playing around with. It's a, uh, it's a, a piece of prime rib, actually. And we've, we've been doing it a lot on our banquets and for our institution groups and Christmas parties. And I thought it would be something fun to show you guys today. Okay, I'm going to hold this up just to give you the up, perspective. Yes, I am. <laughs> this is how big it is. It is huge. Now, is this a serving for one person, Chef John? I'm imagining that people <laughs> share it, right? No, we typically put these out on, on for big groups, and we'll have a carver, and he'll carve it up, and you can get a small piece of it and move well, on. Well, Stephanie <laughs> Gary, our reporter backstage, don't be surprised if she's yep, sticking she'll be gnawing on, on it. So <laughs> the cuisine that you guys have, you describe the menu as sort of a new Texas uh, menu. Describe to people what that means. Well, like I said, you know, it reaches out to the diversity of Houston. So we have flavors that uh, we have a southwest, some southwestern flavors. We have some Thai flavors. We have some uh, flavors that are representative of the Czech, you know, heritage out from the hill country. And then, you know, just good Gulf Coast, you know, seafood from So Seoul. a bunch of different fusions in your food. Oh, that sounds fantastic. Chef, what's this over here? This here is something that I thought would be kind of fun. It's an eggnog panna cotta. And panna cotta is an Italian steamed milk dessert. And so what we do... Dive into one of those. Well, I was going to say... Oh, there are some... Yeah, I have some little spoons for Excellent. you. So, you know, jump in. Mini spoons for my... So it's a little mouth. spiced rum inside of it and uh, with a little caramel sauce and some berries. A little shaved chocolate. Mm. I'm such a huge fan of eggnog. Oh, this is so good. Absolutely delicious. I got to get a little bit of that chocolate right there, too. Okay. So um, mm. to pair... Your delicious food, then. We also have sommelier David Cook. I think we should wander over to David and maybe uh, Cocktail up time. some cocktails. So, <laughs> Chef John, All thank right. you so much. Hey, it's a pleasure. You should this wander on so over good. and yeah, try some Yeah, come on over with us. <laughs> Hi, David Cook. Hey, guys. How are you all doing? How are you, sir? Great. While we enjoy this eggnog panna cotta, uh, can't help but eye some of these holiday drinks. And the, yes. the difference with these drinks is that many of them are served warm. Yes. Typically, you would see, you know, a cider or an eggnog uh, served warm with some nice rum and the, I, I love having the cider on the stove in the middle of the holidays. You know, you can smell Smells. it through the house, oh, yeah. reminds everyone of the holidays, gets you in the mood to maybe have a glass or two. Okay, so today we're gonna try a few things, but also uh, do we have a chance to mix some up as well? Yes, absolutely. I'm just mixing here the hard cider here. We're using a great cinnamon and spice infused rum from Witherspoon Distillery uh, here in Texas. So y'all grab a glass. This is a- uh, This one right here? Yeah. Can hard, I take this one? Hard cider martini. Drinking out of a martini glass is not my best talent. This is happiness in a glass. It's got some good spice to it. It, really it does. And I mean, you've got the apples and the cinnamon, and yeah. I love that you've garnished it with the little cinnamon stick. Wow. Oh, that's our executive producer, Don Graham, who apparently... <laughs> really? <is> <laughs> Here, Jennifer, you can share mine. Wait, no, David, Don, Don just went on Santa's naughty list for stealing my drink. <laughs> The dangerous thing about this is it doesn't taste like there's alcohol in it. <laughs> is there definitely alcohol there in it? There is. This great cinnamon-infused rum, I really feel like it's, you know, it's subtle, just kind of 
plays off the flavors of the cider. There's a little bit of sweet and dry vermouth in there as well. Oh, no. Just a dash of bitters. <laughs> this is the type of drink when you have grandma over at your house for yeah. the holidays, and she's you thrown don't... back like four or five of them, and then she's like, honey, is there alcohol in there? <laughs> okay. So you guys, you guys are, what, closed on Christmas Day, but you're open all the other days? Closed on Christmas. Uh, actually, Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, we're coming back on, I believe, the... Tuesday after Christmas. Okay, nice. Say, I believe. All right, so what else you got? So this another one. Like a hot toddy. Uh, yeah, it's a hot toddy with some uh, great Irish whiskey, local clover honey, and fresh lemon juice. And then just pick your favorite hot tea. Um, any kind of hot, like an herbal kind, hot tea? Yeah, like herbal a hot tea or, or even a green tea if you want a little lighter. Um, but this is fun for the four or five days where it's cold outside uh, here in Houston to act like we can uh, sit by the fire, warm up, and have a good time. It's so a, a good Irish whiskey. I got to go I, Jameson. Uh, got to go that's Jameson with that there. one. No, I'm being totally serious. This also does not taste like it has alcohol in it. You definitely put alcohol I in it. definitely these. put alcohol in those. Do you, do you do a light pour? I mean, what's your... I didn't want you to get too, uh, you know, in the holiday spirit while you still have to do the show, but there's a little bit, just enough to make it make it right. Just enough to make you giddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as if so I'm let's not move on to, already. what's this Try one? Try this. I love eggnog, a classic kind of holiday drink. Uh, you know, you can put rum or bourbon or whatever you want, really brandy in it. This one has a little bit of cognac, a little bit of dark rum, and some beautiful single single barrel bourbon. Ooh. This is absolutely... Okay, now I can taste the alcohol in this one. Fresh nutmeg over the, over the top. I, I really like that. Is this going to make you gassy? <laughs> it's not going to make me gassy. It might make me giddy, though. Okay. Good. Oh, you're not lactose intolerant, right? Mm -mm. Is there... Could, you, could <laughs> someone substitute if they sure. are lactose intolerant? Absolutely. Just some almond milk and, you know, something like that. Heavy cream. Really, really a good way to substitute. Oh, I think oh, almond milk would be fabulous yeah. with this. A little cinnamon in there. Now, Chef, okay, you've right. taste, test, taste tested all these drinks, too, right? Yeah, I've had them all. <laughs> <laughs> just making sure we're not leaving you out. Every single one. Okay, and last and but not least. a fun little creation we did with just lots of different, what I feel like are, are good holiday kind of liqueurs. There's some hazelnut liqueur in here. Thank we you. call this the orange clove. You know, oranges are in season in Texas this time of year, so it's got fresh orange juice, uh, hazelnut liqueur, uh, orange liqueur. Wait, they make rum. hazelnut liqueur? Yeah. I didn't know it's that. One of my favorites. Really? They make every kind of liqueur, Jennifer. <laughs> okay, well, I'm learning something new on Houston Life well, today. I'm, I'm <laughs> glad we could teach you this. No, this is delicious. What do you, mm. what, um, if we wanted to make one of these up ourselves, could we? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got... I think the recipe's online uh, at the, for the Third Coast website, or come on in, and we'll, we'll show you how to, how to make it. But uh, it's a fun little drink with just a you know, hint of lots of different liqueurs that, that I think really represent the holiday season. And you guys have sent over the recipes. So we'll definitely post those up on right. HoustonLife.tv, so right, we'll get guys. it all there for you. Well, Chef John Buchanan, thank you for hey, coming in. Thanks for having us. David Cook, sommelier, yeah, pleasure, thank you guys. so much. And again, that website, uh, if you would like to check out some of their delicious menu items or maybe get the recipe for these drinks, you can visit uh, thirdcoasthouston.com, right? Or you can make a reservation on opentable.com. So thanks again, guys. Cheers. Thanks so much for coming in.